three weeks. Three weeks is how long these wireless earbuds have lasted without needing an additional charge. That's crazy. What's up guys, I'm your name of the guy, and today we're taking a look at the Padme to Padmu Slide. These are some wireless earbuds that are currently starting on Indiegogo at around $59. That's crazy, and they have some crazy features to go along with that crazy price. Now before I get started, these wireless earbuds were sent to me by Padmate for review. Like always though, all opinions are my own. First up, opening the box, we slide this little cover off, and then we take this little piece of paper off. Okay, and we see the wireless earbuds and the case front and center. Moving those aside for a second, you get an additional package of accessories on the bottom which includes some ear tips and a little sizing chart for the ear tips, a large instruction manual, kind of thick, no one's gonna really read that, but if you need it, hey, and a USB Type-C cable. It's pretty short, but mainly I'll use other USB Type-C cables got around here, so I don't need that. Now let's talk about the buds themselves, and we'll start with battery on this one. They have a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. 2,000 milliamp hours. That's like half of most your Android phones today and a little less than most of your iPhones today. 2,000 milliamp hours, that's a lot for earbuds. <laughs> and those 2,000 milliamp hours got me three complete weeks of charging on these buds. I used them, my normal daily use for three weeks. Three weeks, that's a long time and I did not have to charge it. That's, I, I was shocked by that. Um, I kept saying, you know, I'm gonna start the review, gonna start writing the review, and I'm like, wait, these things aren't dying. The battery isn't, I have to I have to wait until they finally die. And then they finally died about three weeks later, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's really, um, never seen it before in wireless earbuds, which is pretty much what solves one of my biggest problems with wireless products, especially earbuds, is you have to charge them. You have to charge them every night usually. You have to remember to charge them. They don't last long and they have to be charged. These, you can forget to charge them a few days and you'll be fine. So that's really good. I was really happy about that. According to Padmate, five minutes of charge on these via the fast charging USB-C cable will actually give you one hour of charge time. I see this a lot with other wireless earbuds, you know, short amounts of charge time with USB-C gives you long amounts of battery usage time, which is great but I'm happy to see it on here. Just, it's a pretty standard thing, but it's good to see when you're looking for wireless earbuds. Now, by far one of the best things that you get on these, with the big battery, at least on the $79 versions on Indiegogo right now, you get reverse wireless charging. Now, that's a kind of new phenomenon in phones, and we're seeing it in these wireless earbuds. Now, I'm not sure if it's called reverse wireless charging, but, you can wirelessly charge your device, like the phone, by putting it on the back of these. So you just flip them over, press this button, and put the phone on the back, and you can actually get the reverse wireless, you can get wireless charging of extra devices. So this is like a mobile battery bank, which is one of the big things that helps justify its size. It's a little bit thicker than wireless here, but as I'm sure you've seen that already, uh, but it justifies its size because you can also use it to charge other things, i.e. your phone, uh, during the day. Now, while this isn't as big as some battery banks, you, I have battery banks right over here that are 10,000 milliamp hours more, um, it is still a more compact package than most of his battery banks, and it is also your wireless earbuds. Kills two birds with one stone, and you have a lot of charge to spare on these things. Now let's talk about sound. Sound's an important thing when you're going for wireless earbuds, a lot of people don't actually think so. A lot of people think, no, sound is not the most important thing, which is weird. Very weird. Why isn't sound the most important thing when you're looking for things to listen to sound through? Doesn't make much sense. But sound should be your most important factor when thinking about wireless earbuds. Now, there's some other factors that can make sound not as great. Like if they don't have great battery life, you might be like, eh, they have good sound, but the battery life isn't as good. But Sound should be a very important factor when choosing one of earbuds. That's why I'm happy to say that these things actually do sound great. 
Um, I would probably say better than most wireless earbuds I've tried. Maybe the Treblob X5s come in around second place for my listing, but I'd probably put these in first or second place as for sound quality. They sound great. You put them in your ears. They stay in your ears. That's good. I like that. And the sound is good. It has the ear tips to kind of block the outside sound. Not as good audio cancellation as the Galaxy Buds have. Those are great. Those are probably some of the best I've heard so far. But they do have a little bit of noise isolation to keep out the sounds of the outside from annoying you while trying to listen to music. The Pedmon slides feature the Qualcomm QCC 3020, which is a new chip which is focused on good sound. I haven't done much research into what the chip exactly is and what exactly it does better, but it does help with sound and it does make sound better and apparently it's a great chip to have. So I'm happy to see that Padma... Padma... I'm happy to see a Padmate included in these because apparently it's the best chip right now to have for... Um, wireless earbuds other than maybe airpods i don't know about the h1 chip where where it competes on us the transmission range on these earbuds was crazy good i was able to walk from one side of my house to the other side of my house and still get good transmission through these earbuds so i leave my phone on one side go to the other side and i can still hear it which is pretty good that i don't really see much with wireless earbuds uh they do usually tend to have good transmission but i don't see it as much with wireless earbuds where they have really far transmission which is another thing that's not really important when you're choosing wireless earbuds because most people aren't putting their phone on one side of a room and walking to the other most times you're going to keep your phone in your pocket but it is a benefit of wireless earbuds because you can do that unlike you know wired earbuds where you obviously can't unless you have a really long wire uh, <laughs> um but with these you can which is a nice benefit to have but you not something that's necessary when you think about it. The Padmate Padmu slides feature Bluetooth 5.0, which is very important when you're looking for wireless earbuds. They should really be featuring Bluetooth 5.0, which actually Padmate calls the most stable uh, connection on any wireless earbuds, I guess. I think that's what it said. Um, but 5.0 is important. The connection is more stable than other Bluetooth versions and you want the low latency and everything that you get from Bluetooth 5.0. So when you're looking for wireless earbuds, look for ones that do feature Bluetooth 5.0 because that's an important feature to have in wireless earbuds. Right now it's the best uh, version of Bluetooth you can have wireless earbuds for. Build quality is important. Build quality is definitely important. It's not as important to me to, as sound and it's not as important to me as battery life. But if it looks like it's going to fall apart in a month, I'm not buying. So build quality is definitely very important when you're picking out many products, but when you're picking out wireless earbuds, definitely important because these things are going to fall out of your ears, they're going to fall out of your pocket, it's going to happen at some point, it's going to get scratched, it's going to get broken, it's going to, ugh, whatever. Um, you know, look at the AirPods, they get really scratched very fast, they have covered in scratches, there's some ways you can get the scratches out, but mainly they just come right back and it's like, oh my god. So if that bothers you, maybe you want to stay away from other things that scratch. These are a matte plastic finish, so I was like, they're going to scratch up uh, when the Galaxy Buds fell on my ear and when one of the Buds fell on my ear. It got scratched up within a few days of me trying them. These fell on my ears a few times. Um, no scratches. I am honestly surprised. This has also fallen in my pocket, tumbled across floors. No scratches. I am super surprised about that because on any other wireless earbuds, these would be scratched up. I haven't seen one yet that is a matte finish and doesn't get scratched up. That's shocking to me. I'm not 100% sure why that happens, but it does happen, and I was very impressed by it. Don't know why it happens. Kind of scary that it doesn't scratch, but maybe it's just me. Maybe it was just my experience that they dropped and they didn't scratch, but wow. I'm shocked about that. I'm definitely a little shocked about that. Now, these do feature an AirPods-like design, which I'm not super happy about because... You know, it's going to be considered the AirPods clone. A lot of things that feature the kind of like long ear things are considered AirPods clones. Um, but it doesn't really bother me too much. But when it comes as a product in the market, people are going to look at it as the AirPods clones. This is not the AirPods clones. Even Padmate says on the uh, Indiegogo listing that don't consider these like an AirPods clones. Consider them like, uh, you know, the better than Air. I forget what exactly it says. I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, but... Even Padme is like, these are not AirPods clones. And I agree with that. No one should be comparing other wireless earbuds, in my opinion, 
to you AirPods because AirPods are some of the, in my opinion, again, I'll say in my opinion, lower tier wireless earbuds. They cost a lot. So people automatically put them as the best wireless earbuds or great wireless earbuds because they cost, you know, $100. No. Sound-wise and connection-wise and all this other stuff-wise, they're probably some of the lower tier wireless earbuds, in my opinion. I'll say that too. I don't want to put Galaxy Buds on that list as well. Lower tier wireless earbuds also, in my opinion. A little higher than AirPods, but still lower tier. Um, so when you compare other AirPods... So when you compare other earbuds that may look a little like AirPods, but actually offer you better perks than AirPods, it's kind of annoying, right? And when people, everybody says, you know, do they sound as good as AirPods? Well, I hope so, because AirPods don't really sound great. <laughs> if they sound worse than AirPods, they're doing something wrong. So don't compare these to AirPods when you're looking at the design. Yes, they look a little like AirPods. They have the long little stem at the end, whatever. You know, I, I would prefer the little in-ear, the full in-ear. I feel like those are more comfortable, like the Galaxy Buzz. Those fit in your ears a little better and they're more comfortable. But this design is probably to encompass some of the des uh, actual hardware features, which is why it's longer. They can fit a little more into the stem. So I'm assuming maybe that's the bigger battery that's in these things. So um, I don't care that they have an AirPods-like design, but they do have an AirPods like design and a lot of people do actually care on the topic of airpods like design unlike airpods they actually do fit easily in your ear and they generally do not fall out like every once in a while of course maybe you'll drive over a bump or something and they'll, they'll fall out something might happen but for the general time they do fit snugly in your ear and they don't feel like they're going to fall out any second that's a problem i had with a treble of x5s which was something reason i could not recommend them myself because they didn't fit in my ear properly. I kept feeling like they were going to fall out no matter what tip I tried. Um, the AirPods have that same feeling. They kind of feel like you're going to fall out at some point. And it's like, these are going to fall out. I know they're going to fall out and they don't fall out. Well, you know, I, 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 it's hard to recommend AirPods. It's hard to recommend earbuds that feel like they're going to fall out, obviously. So I'm happy to say that these don't feel like that. At least for me, they don't. Uh, fit can be very different depending on who you are. They do include a lot of tips in the box so you can actually put different tips onto the earbuds to make sure they don't fall out but um sometimes those tips just don't fit your ear i've had that experience myself that all tips in the box don't fit so for me they didn't feel like they're gonna fall out um my recommendation is always you have to try them sometimes they feel like they're gonna fall out sometimes they don't so these were good for me as for fit but Again, it's always a personal ear thing. They should fit for you. The tip should help. But if they don't, it happens with wireless earbuds. But these do fit, which is good, at least for me. These wireless earbuds also feature an IPX6 rating, which means that it has a sixth rating for water resistance, which isn't anything spectacular. Like, don't go throw these into a pool or something. But if you're exercising and get a little sweaty, uh, they are fine. Rain, light rain should be fine. Anything like that should be fine for water resistance, which is good to see on wireless earbuds because you're going to want to use them for exercising. You're going to want to probably, at least at some point, maybe use them in the rain. Um, so it's good to see on wireless earbuds that you have that that option to use them while exercising. So while I haven't had a problem with uh, wireless earbuds that aren't rated, these are, so that gives you a little bit of extra security, but it's not a huge amount of extra security because, like I said, I haven't really had a problem with any other wireless earbuds, but these are X6. If you don't understand what the IP ratings mean, I will put a little thing above in the cards, uh, which is a link to a video by Jerry Rig Everything and Mr. Mobile, where they go over the explanation of what a ip rating means so watch that video i actually suggest everyone watches that video if they don't if they've never seen it before because it points out some very good things in that video like not everything's waterproof just, just watch it the touch controls on the pamu slides were pretty good now i've had other wireless earbuds with touch controls so having touch controls isn't a crazy big thing that you know you should be Wow, touch controls, but they were good. Some touch controls on other wireless earbuds aren't great. Um, they just play and pause or whatnot. These worked great. Um, 
There's some times where I've accidentally picked up phone calls when I've actually not wanted to by accidentally pressing the earbuds while the phone call was calling. Calling? Yeah, calling. Um, but otherwise, having those touch controls, you can answer a phone call without having to get your phone in your pocket. You can play and pause music. You can raise volume. Great touch controls. Uh, they have a cheat sheet of all the touch controls on um, the Indiegogo campaign. So if you want to check that out, I'll actually put it right here so you guys can see it. A lot of touch controls. I was very happy to see touch controls because, again, like I said, I've seen a lot of touch controls on Ryan's earbuds. Some are great, some aren't. Some just don't have touch controls. Touch controls are great. Important, in my opinion. I like to see touch controls on the wireless earbuds. They come in three colors. The one I have right here is the green color. Uh, I like this. I wouldn't think like, I wouldn't have natively chose the green color. I wouldn't have gone on the website and chose the green color if it wasn't the one that was sent to me. But I like the green color. Green color is not bad. It also comes in a black and a white color. I'll put those on the screen right now if you can, you know, if you want to look at them. They're nice too, but I think I actually would go with the green color now, having actually seen it in person. It's a nice, like, dark green color uh, paired with a top that is, like, gray. It's gray. It's like a fabric type gray. It's nice. I like it. Design overall, good. Some cons that I have with the Padmate Padmu slides. Not many. I actually don't have many. I'm surprised. One big one was random connection. I don't know how this was happening, whether this was an error on my fault or something with these, but whenever I'd open the case, right, it would automatically connect, and if I, like, had Spotify open, it would automatically start playing Spotify. I don't know why that happens, so I would sometimes open and close the case in my pocket and just start turning on Spotify, and I would notice later that Spotify is playing, and sometimes I wouldn't even open the case at all, at least I, I didn't think I opened it, maybe it, like, hit open accidentally or something, and Spotify would start playing, so I'm not sure if that's a thing with like the earbuds being loose in the case or something because they're not they don't seem loose they're magnetically held in there they're definitely not coming out um i don't know why that happened but it happened and um it happens i don't know it randomly turns on and plays music that's a big con for me well not big con for me but it is a random con for me even with that, though, it still lasts three weeks in battery life, so that's pretty epic. Now, what some people might also see as a con is the large case. It's huge. It's big. It's thick. Um, I don't have anything here to compare it to. It's thick. Trust me, it's thick. Um, you do get a lot of trade-offs for this, right? You get the large case. It's a huge trade-off for some people, but you get the reverse wireless charging. You get the 2,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Um, that in itself is pretty good, actually, I think. So you get the thickerness, but you also get the trade-offs. Also, less likely to break if it falls, just saying, because it's a little, little thicker. Um, a little more robust, probably not going to break if it falls um, as easy, at least, as some other wireless earbuds are. So that's also good. I don't mind the thickness. It goes in my pocket. It's, you know, obviously noticeable in the pocket, but it's not, it's not like heavy. It's not like, oh my God, these are too heavy. They're going to pull my pants down or anything. Uh, they're not bad. It's a little thick. Some people might not like it. I wouldn't judge the thickness myself as a reason not to buy. Some people might. I want to mention it, but it's definitely thick. I don't mind it. You might not mind it. Some people might. So a lot of my cons in this video on the Padmu slides are actually a lot about design. One thing is the top piece. The top piece, um, I'm not sure if you can see that, you can hear that. It's a little bit loose from the top, like it, you can kind of wiggle it around, there's a gap in between them. I'm a little worried that something might get stuck in between the top of the case and hinder the sliding mechanism from sliding. Um, but I'm sure it has to be a little gap in between the case, so the slider mechanism actually works, right? So, I, I have not seen that happen yet in the past over a month I've been using them, but, um, yeah, that could happen. I'm a little worried about that. Something, some dirt or debris or something getting in between the case and it not being able to slide, so that might be something you want to pay attention to. That might be something that Padme actually would want to try to change in the future iteration of their earbuds um but like i said i'm sure it has to do with the sliding mechanism um of the case and that is why it does have to be a little bit little bit case on forward something like it in between that and stop the sliding another thing that i was a little afraid of and a little worried about with design wise 
was the top um it's like a fabric material like a canvas type fabric material um i'm worried that over time that might get beat up and it might not look as good as it does now i'm worried about the pamu i keep saying the name wrong. pamu um logo on top because it isn't like actually in the fabric it is above so over time it probably can wear off or fall off wear out or fall off over time it probably could wear out or fall off and you know i like my logo on there i guess you know a lot of people don't like logos but i rather keep it in condition good condition so uh it could fall off i'm a little worried about that happening right now it looks like it's very solid though uh so i don't think it will fall off anytime soon but it could with much use okay that is my pros and cons or my review overall i would recommend the Pamu slides from Padme. And if you go right now and get it on the Indiegogo deal, I don't know how much the price is going to go up. I didn't actually do the calculations. But if you get it on the Indiegogo deal right now, they are killer and you cannot beat them. At least nothing I've tried can beat these. The right now, the version without the reverse wireless charging is $59. And the version with the reverse wireless charging, probably the one I'd go for, by the way, is $79. Great, that's a really good deal for wireless earbuds. We're seeing a lot of $150, $200 wireless earbuds that don't do a lot of the stuff this thing does. So I would 100% recommend these. I'll leave the Indiegogo link down in the description below. I'm not too sure when it ends. I think it's on demand right now, so I don't think it's going to, like, has an actual end date. Um, but again, I'd recommend them. I like them. I used them for a while, and I really like them, so I'd recommend them. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos, you know where to click the subscribe button down there and you know where to find me. Thanks for watching.